Hello, my YouTube family. This is your wake up call. Let's talk about the coronavirus. As we know, the coronavirus is spreading across the globe. Let's first get into a few facts, and then I'll show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Please, if your mind is not open enough to view this content, I don't mind if you skip over this and wait for the next video, but you're going to be missing a good one if you do. At first, I wasn't going to do a coronavirus video, but I think now we've reached the appropriate saturation point. Coronaviruses, or COV, are a large family of viruses that cause illnesses ranging from the common cold to more severe diseases such as Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS COV, and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS COV. A novel coronavirus, NCOV, is a new strain that has not been previously identified in humans. Hmm, maybe we should keep an eye on that one. Coronaviruses are zoonotic, meaning they are transmitted between animals and people. Detailed investigations found that SARS-CoV was transmitted from cats to humans, and MERS-CoV from dromedary camels to humans. Several known coronaviruses are circulating in animals that have not yet infected humans. I wonder how this transmission between animals and humans happened. Hmm. Anyway, this current coronavirus has been named SARS-CoV-2, and the disease it causes has been named Coronavirus Disease 2019, abbreviated COVID-19. Early information out of China where COVID-19 first started shows that some people are at higher risk of getting very sick from this illness. This includes older adults, people who have serious chronic medical conditions like heart disease, diabetes, and lung disease. Chinese authorities first detected this virus in December 2019. The death toll from the virus is now nearly 4,000 worldwide. In Italy, where cases have soared in recent weeks, the government is effectively locking down the northern part of the country where the outbreak has been located. Cases of COVID-19 in the United States have reached more than 600. A cruise ship that has been held off the coast of California after passengers tested positive for the virus will finally be able to dock this week. The ship will dock at the port of Oakland, but passengers and crew won't be able to simply disembark. Anyone with the symptoms of COVID-19 will be taken to a healthcare facility. Everyone else on board will have to spend 14 days quarantined in a federally run facility. The crew will remain on board for 14 days for their quarantine. At least 21 passengers or crew members tested positive for SARS-CoV-2. The CDC now estimates that over the next year, many people in the United States will be exposed to SARS-CoV-2. However, most won't be severely affected. Nancy Messonier, director of the National Center for Immunization and Respiratory Diseases, or NCIRD, said, It's fair to say that as the trajectory of the outbreak continues, many people in the United States will at some point in time, either this year or next, be exposed to this virus. And there's a good chance many will become sick. But again, based on what we know about this virus, we do not expect most people to develop serious illness. Common signs of infection include respiratory symptoms, fever, cough, shortness of breath, and breathing difficulties. In more severe cases, the infection can cause pneumonia, severe acute respiratory syndrome, kidney failure, and even death. Standard recommendations to prevent infection spread include regular hand washing, covering mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing, thoroughly cooking meat and eggs, avoid close contact with anyone showing symptoms of respiratory illness such as coughing and sneezing. So this is all common sense things that we should be doing already and especially not leaving the bathroom without washing your hands. But that's another video for another time. So now let's talk about the evil, cruel, and heartless people that want to take advantage of the current situation. I'll start with this ad on Craigslist where they're selling bottles of Purell for $250. Now let's stop by this Manhattan hardware store in which a worker insisted the shop is not gouging and it won't drop the prices. This despite the fact the store, an Ace Hardware franchise, is selling 1,200 milliliter bottles of Purell for 
I want all of you to reach out to the Ace Hardware headquarters and let them know what you think about this location taking advantage of an epidemic during which people are panicking, afraid, and do not know what to do. Watch this New York Post video shot in that Manhattan store. You think that the masks are too marked up? By the people who sold it to us, yeah. I would say. <laughs> I, see, I, mean, I see. We have paperwork that sells what we what that cost is. So you you feel pretty confident that oh, yeah, you'll definitely. be all right. Yeah. With this summons, right? Yeah. Yeah. And any words to De Blasio? I don't live in the city. But he's a piece of shit. Why do you say that? Just always has been. He hasn't done anything for this city. What about 70, this uh, seventy-nine dollars for the pure? In one of these. I see. So, and what is that? This is a dispenser. I see. So that comes with the dispenser. No. Dispenser is twenty. This is seventy-nine. And is that normally the price seventy-nine? Yeah. I see. Because I haven't bought, that's, that's I haven't normal. paid yeah. anything extra for any of this. So, so if it's not coronavirus, how much are you selling that for? So that's the price. That's the price, no matter what. Okay, I see. Okay, there's another one like this size, which I don't, it's not for my dispenser. So I'm not selling it? Yeah. That one is about 65 Okay, yeah. I see. And like I said, I'm not right, selling it because I don't. Hey, yeah, look, I'm just trying to figure out what's what's going on, yeah. you know? So yeah, you guys feel you feel good about this going into April, yeah. Dear retail, wake the hell up. BS like this is why Amazon is crushing you. This needs to go to Ace Hardware's headquarters. If anyone is down to contact them, I'll do it with you. Let me know. Now, I want to touch on this Simpsons coronavirus prediction nonsense. Days ago, someone began circulating this image on the web. In this image, it shows an old episode of The Simpsons in which the words coronavirus is displayed behind the character. This is a combination of two episodes. The main episode is from season four. It's episode 21, entitled Marge in Chains. In this episode, Homer orders a juicer from Dr. Nick, and it's packaged in Japan. In the scene, a worker talks about having the flu, and another worker talks about having a shattered pelvis. The sick worker coughs in the package, which ultimately leads to a plague spreading around Springfield. The image with the words coronavirus is actually from season 22, episode number 6, entitled The Fool Monty. The beginning of the episode depicts the network sitting around deciding that they should spread misinformation about a mystery virus they ultimately blame on cats. Keep this in mind. The original SARS-CoV was transmitted from cats to humans and was recognized at the end of 2003. That particular episode was in 2010, so they no doubt used that information when writing this episode. Finally, let's talk about the plagues. There are many throughout our history, but I want to take a quick look at the ones below. The Great Plague of Marseille. I think I pronounced that right. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, then somebody just let me know. This was the last of the significant European outbreaks of bubonic plague, arriving in Marseille, France in 1720. The first cholera pandemic, though previously restricted, began in Bengal and then spread across India by 1820. Spanish flu was an unusually deadly influenza pandemic which lasted for almost three years, ending in 1920. This was the first of the two pandemics involving H1N1 influenza virus, with the second one being the swine flu in 2009. Which brings us to the 2020 coronavirus outbreak. This is an ongoing global outbreak of coronavirus disease 2019, or COVID-19, that has been declared a public health emergency of international concern by the World Health Organization. It's caused by the SARS coronavirus 2, or SARS CoV 2, that was first identified in Wuhan, China in December 2019. Remember, the SARS coronavirus, or SARS CoV, was the first one back in 2002 to 2004. These are approximately 100 years apart, granted with some other outbreaks in between. 
this doesn't look like a conspiracy theory, which uh, I noticed that some people on the web are considering this every 100 year thing a conspiracy theory, but there were outbreaks in between here. So I'm not going to be quick to say that this is something happening only every 100 years. But I do think it's time to demand that the governments of the world stop patting their pockets at the expense of the people, stop lying to us about nonsense and pitting us one against the other, and find out where these viruses keep coming from. Dear politicians, like the great Bob Marley once said, you can fool some people sometimes, but you can't fool other people all the time. And you're definitely not going to fool me. This has been your wake up call. This has been your wake up call. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Click the notification bell so you will be notified when we upload new videos. Find The Awakening Frequency on Twitter and Instagram and also Facebook. We are The Awakening Frequency. Out of the millions of potential subscribers, we just want to reach one so each one can teach one. Peace.